Hello and welcome to my second um, uh, Doctor Who audio CD, so I'm a bit, <laughs> bit uh, nervous about reviewing this, hopefully it should go well. Uh, my last, or <laughs> my first one was uh, ironically called The Last um, by Paul McGann, so if you haven't seen that, check that out. Also, I recommend you go see uh, <coughs> Nerd Central and Pertwee Smith 11 if you're really into the Dutch Who uh, audio uh, CDs uh, and that, and you want, or you're thinking about buying some and stuff and you want good people's opinions. I think they're two brilliant channels you should go check out. Again, it's Nerd Central and Pertwee Smith 11. Um, anyway, on, on to this review. You've got this awesome, cool image of a robot. Um, and that, and then it just says full cast um, audio drama, uh, classic Doctor Who brand new adventure, classic Doctor Who like logo there, Colin Baker looking awesome uh, as usual, um, Colin Baker in ID uh, by Eddie Roberts, um, and then it's got features, and then it's got all the cast members, and then big finish there. There you've got the on the spine you've got. Colin Baker, Doctor Who ID in kind of orange typography instead of uh, <coughs> white, white there, <coughs> white there. Uh, then you've got ninety four, which is the number of uh, the one that it is, and then big finish there. On the back, you've pretty much got a blurb. So pause this if you want to see it, uh, and then the. Uh, uh, Cast their ID and then a bonus feature, urgent calls by Eddie, Eddie Roberts as well. Um, now that really confused me. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, when this one has discs, disc one has part one and two to um, ID, whereas disc two has part three and the uh, extra episode. Uh, urgent call, I think it was called. But then here, if you look at the booklet thing, you can get it out there without damaging it. There we go. Um, we've got the cast and stuff like that and then we've got writer's notes which talks about uh, er, 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 Eddie Roberts uh, <coughs> and um, how he would like the uh, how he likes the two part sort of um, uh, layout of classic coups during Colin Baker's tenure um, and that but the only thing that confuses me is that on this it is actually a three part story so yeah, uh, sort of like a uh, art book, uh, art bit or poster, and then the next uh, episode in the order. So that would be uh, number ninety five then, uh, advertising DWM, and then it's just got a synopsis of the Sixth Doctor and whatnot. So yeah, let's try and put this back in. There we go. Uh, and then over there we've got some information about the other um, Six Doctor uh, Big Finish audios to collect. So yeah, what did I think of this? <coughs> so what did I think of uh, ID? Now, I initially thought I was going to really like ID more than Last. And to be honest, I have done the complete opposite and I've liked Last more than um, ID. Uh, I don't know, I mean, the premise is decent, but the execution of it is not too good. Personally, I was a bit confused where the sort of narrative wanted to go, and the sort of, I don't know, like, the stuff that was happening was a bit too convoluted and a bit all over the place for me. Um, I mean, it was a brilliant premise, and the premise is, it's about, like, sort of, um, augmentation where people can like be able to augment their kind of body parts of sorts so like say I don't know someone you know has got a huge nose uh, if they were they were able to somehow make their nose smaller and stuff like that I think uh, and that and just 
uh, or their own sort of emotions as well. So, like, say, you know, someone, like, t who's really angry, they could delete that angriness and kind of be way too calm, though. And then it's so calm that they're completely mellow and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I think... <clears throat> I think uh, Colin Baker was decent in this. Uh, uh, the way that he's written is uh, sort of like typical, you know, Six Doctor, you know, sort of very, uh, sort of very blunt, very direct, uh, and that, and very, you know, Six Doctor like. So that's always nice. But I think comparing him to Paul McGann, I just think purely on his voice, at least, and his sort of. Uh, voice acting i think you know paul mcgann's much better personally i think because he's got more of a uh sort of robust and varied sort of uh you know selection of voices he can do paul mcgann so he can as i said go from you know sort of uh very dark one minute to very serious the next to very happy go lucky whereas i feel like uh, Colin Baker's much more, or at least in this story, he might have been written that way, though. That's the only thing. Um, cause I can't give you a full opinion, really, like a, a, a massively, you know, in-depth opinion, because this is seriously my only Colin Baker uh, Big Finish audio, unfortunately, so far, though. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's very stripped back, very, very, uh, you know, I don't know, very... I don't know, like, he doesn't have that spark or, or, like, any energy, like, or very, I don't know, very just, I don't know, very calm, very, just normal, or just like, you know, oh, you shouldn't do that, or, or, or something, you know, like, just, you know, instead of, whereas Paul Mayan might be like, why, how dare you have, how dare you do that, you know, he might be just like, oh, how dare you do that, you know, very, I don't know, very more plain and whatnot, but again, that might just have been the way he was written in said story. Um, again, it is rather confusing, as I said before, how, you know, in the writer's notes, it says, you know, how the writer likes the two-part format in the TV show. I'm pointing up there because uh, my DVDs are up there. But anyway, yeah, how he likes the two-part uh, you know, sort of format of the TV show for Colin Baker, and yet this is in three parts, so that kind of confused me. So, yeah, um, what else? I do like the robots. I wish the robots were in there much more. Uh, their voice was awesome. The way they, they did that was awesome. Uh, just generally... <coughs> sorry. Just generally, I think the uh, audio in this one was much better better uh and more refined than uh the last which is the as i say the the last one that i uh listened to but um but i think the narrative and the story in in the last was superb and much better and much more clearer and uh just much more enjoyable than this one so yeah um i don't know again i'd have much preferred the robots to be in there much more and the sort of uh, I don't know, like, the Doctor doesn't come in with a companion, he kind of, the, one of the characters he meets is kind of like his companion throughout this episode, um, yeah, it, it, I don't know, it, good premise, just not very good execution, and for that, for me at least, I'm gonna have to give this episode a 7 out of 10. I'm going to buy some more Big Finish audios, so hopefully the next Colin Baker one that I get, if I do get another call and make a one next time I go to Fibbing Planet, hopefully I will like that one more. Thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.